The spirit of the living God loose us the liberty tonight, O oh God. Have your way, O oh God. Father, allow the minds that be with the necessity to be present in this house. Allow them to perceive, to receive, and to conceive the things not of the Holy Ghost. And I double there's somebody up underneath the sound of my voice to say, yay and amen. You can take your seats in the very presence of the Lord. Give yourselves a round of applause. Come on, somebody shout. And the God in this place, praise him, praise him, praise him, honor him. Great God that he is. Thank you, Jesus. For those of you visiting us um, with us tonight, for the first time we want to welcome you here officially into sufficient grace um international ministries uh, we are so excited to have you we do love you and we're sure that this is not going to be the last time that you come to this house there is a word from the mercy seat now i want you to look at your neighbor real good and i want you to pull on your neighbor and say to your neighbor say neighbor, neighbor. come on now do it with some kind of excitement neighbor, neighbor. god Bye has you, As you on, on his mind. Oh That's my topic for this afternoon. I, I believe that somebody is about to be blessed. Somebody is about to look at what God now is doing in their lives from a different now perspective. The book of Romans chapter 8 verse 29, it lends to the church a text that says, for he now who did foreknew us also did predestine us to be now conformed to the image of his son, that he might be now the first born among many brethren. And can I suggest to you that the Apostle Paul uses the word fornium, which is to imply having knowledge of something before now it happens. This helps us to know sufficient grace that even before the manifestation of Jesus, God had already planned his entrance now into the world. A great God, this is important now to comprehend because this helps the church now to know that God who shaped the earth on his asshole, who created the heaven and the earth, who commanded the light to separate itself now, from the darkness has all knowledge of any existence here now in the earth realm. The word of God shows descriptively now that God now is responsible for creation. God is responsible for humanity. He is responsible for the creative input of the universe. The Bible says that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. It was his creativity that gave us the dynamics by which we operate. In other words, sufficient grace can I preach like I feel it in him. It was his grace now uh, that gave us the heaven and the earth. Uh, yes. Notice the writer now doesn't seek now to begin to try to explain God. Uh, he doesn't seek to give an explanation now uh, behind the genius and the brilliance of God. Uh, but he simply releases to the church uh, that in the beginning God created something. Uh, he stepped out of nothing and made the decision within himself uh, without consulting anyone. Can I preach like I feel it? Uh, that there should be something. Uh, this implies the intellect of God, the profoundness of God. Uh, the prolific sufficiency of God. Uh, he relies on no one and he depends on nothing. Uh, in other words, what I'm trying to say.